Kyoto! Man, what's good with y'all? It's your boy, Nana the So, Nana the Chosen One, right? Hit that like button for me. You're rocking with the content, you're rocking with the energy, you're rocking with what I'm talking about, right? But, bro, I wanted to talk about something, right? See my attention, bro. It's not the end all be all. Just speak on that, right? Let's talk about it real quick. You know, y'all see the glow, right? Hold y'all see, fellas, you know? I don't care how many people try to act like this is the wrong thing to do. You you sitting there jacking off is the wrong thing to do. You sitting there playing with yourself is the wrong thing to do. There's nothing wrong with refraining. Nothing wrong with disciplining yourself. This is called self-discipline. Right? I got out the gym. Feeling like that dude. Feeling like the king. Right? No matter how my life looking right now, bro. I know I'm, be, I'm I know I'm destined for greatness, bro. Nobody can tell me, bro. I don't even think twice when it comes to me being great. All the things that I go through, all the struggles that I go through in my life, I know this is making me stronger to become somebody big one day. You're going to see me. I'm telling you, right? So I don't get discouraged. You know, I try to give you guys that type of inspiration. You know, just just, just stay grounded in the Lord, right? Keep your faith when it comes to God, right? And stay on this path, bro. Stop doubting that if it's going to happen. Stop doubting if God is going to come through. He will come through, you know? I don't care how it's looking for you. <laughs> Guys, I don't care how it's looking, right? God doesn't want you to care how it's looking. The enemy wants you, the, the, Satan, the devil, he wants you to look and care of, of how your life is looking so that you can start doubting God. Satan wants you to doubt God. Satan wants you to be like, oh, God is not there for you, right? You see how hard your life is getting? God doesn't love you. God don't like you. So that's what Satan wants you to think. But God doesn't want you to think that way. God wants you to keep your faith in him. God tells us to have uh, faith like a mustard seed. That little. God wants you to have that little of faith. So if you can give him that, go ahead and leave this leave this video a like. I'm about to get into the topic, right? I just want to talk about how SEMA retention and discipline is not the end all be all. Right? Just because you're on SEMA retention, just because you're, you're disciplining yourself, doesn't mean everything in your life is going to just change and change like a week or a month or a year no don't be delusional guys you know you got to still put in work in other aspects of your life okay you got to put in that work oh, guys. there we go you got to put in that work regardless of how you feel right <laughs> i'm telling you bro we are men okay as a man, I don't, bro, I'm telling you guys, it doesn't matter how you feel, bro. You have to get up and grind. <laughs> it's the hard truth. It's the hard truth that people don't want to hear. It doesn't matter how you feel, bro. You have to go get it. You have to grind. Nothing's going to be handed to you, man. <laughs> what don't you get? You know? This, bro, this, guys, you got, bro, this hard truth, I'm 20 years old, right? This hard truth hit me so early in life, but now I'm really starting to really realize that. As a man, nothing is going to be handed to you, right? You have to work for every single thing, right? You have to work for everything that you want. You have to work, okay? You have to work. I'm not talking about me saying work doesn't mean nine to five, whatever. If you have that, cool, but I'm not saying that's the only thing that I'm talking about here, you got to grind. You want the physique of your dreams. You got to go to the gym. Duh. You want the career of your dreams. You got to either go to school for it. You got to grind for it. You know, you got to be smart for it. Whatever. At the end of the day, you got to grind for it. Right? This is what I'm trying to get out of here. Uh, fellas, get on Seymour Attention. Guys, get on Seymour Attention and NoFap. Uh, you know, basically, they, they just stop having sex with women or they stop uh, watch them porn and they think that automatically their life is just going to change they think that automatically right that is it you know I mean I just got out the gym my hair looking kind of crazy I ain't gonna lie but they think they get on this journey and that's it oh everything's gonna be fixed right <laughs> well, I'm 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 here to get I'm here I'm here to give you the hardest truth right I'm here to give you that that real information my guy <laughs> My guy, you got to grind. You got to get to it, bro. Right? You sit in there sleeping whilst others get into it. You sit in there choking your chicken while others get into it. 
Man, I'm in a different type of bag, bro. I, it's November. It's a new month for me, bro. My birthday's in a month. I'm about to be 21 years old. Okay? There's no there's no there's no games me of me. I'm not playing no more games, bro. You know, I, I'm just looking at life very differently the more I grow up. When I was younger, a lot of when you're when you're younger, you don't see things for what it truly is. But when you start to get older, you're like, man, you know, life gets real. <laughs> you know, I, th- bro, I always thought people were lying when they said, you know, the, the, the older you're getting, you know, obviously I'm still young, you know, but I'm saying the more you mature, life really starts to get real. It starts to hit you, you know, can't rely on mommy and daddy no more, bro. You just can't. <laughs> Bro, this lighting is pissing me off. All right, one second, guys. This lighting, bro, is tripping. All right, I'm actually probably gonna set my phone down here. Let me see. There we go. That's better. I'm gonna do that, right? But life gets harder when you get when you get older. Hmm? You know, <laughs> it's just it's just crazy. It's just so unreal sometimes, man. I look at it, I'm like, bro, you know, life is getting real. You go through real life problems when you're growing older, bro. You know, this is one of the things that, you know, I should have cherished when I was younger, right? Is, is just, just enjoying life more, right? You, I can still do it. I'm still young, but all I'm saying is, bro, now when you when you get immature, right, you guys can probably resonate, man. Let me know in the comments, right? Speak to me. Talk with me, bro. Let me know, right? How do you guys feel, bro? Because, man, it gets real. It gets real out here, bro. You know, I feel like the reason why it also gets real is because when we're on this path, this narrow path, and everybody, most of the world, you know, most of everybody is living the same way, okay? Most people are not on this narrow path. Let's just be real, right? Most people are not serving the Lord. Most people are not, you know, on semen retention, on no fab. Let's be real. Let's be real to ourselves here, okay? Let's be real. People are not doing this. So when you go around and you're seeing people, you know, do the things of this world, okay, sometimes it triggers you. Sometimes, not as in the bad way, I mean triggers you as in you wanting to do it too. You wanting to go ahead and associate yourself with it too because you can see everybody doing it. So it's hard to, you know, kind of set yourself obviously apart from it. It's hard. It's going to be, right? God never said it would be easy. (laughs) God never said it's going to be easy, man. Right, but... He knows that we can do it through him, right? He knows that when we ask him for the strength, when we ask him to for him to guide us, he's going to do it, right? You just have to stay committed, guys. You have to understand how important it is to stay on this narrow path, right? It's going to be hard. You're going to see the, the, the broad path, right? You're going to see what everybody's doing. That broad path is leading you to the, to, to, to the, the fiery, fiery pits of hell. That broad path is leading you to a path of destruction. You're destroying yourself. You're destroying yourself. Physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. You're destroying it yourself. Being on this narrow path, you're healing. You're growing. You're elevating. Right? You're being set apart. Right? That's what I've really noticed. I've really noticed this, man. The, the, the more and more I um, refrain from, you know, not just sex, but also porn. Okay? Your mind starts to, uh, kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Your mind starts to enhance you start to think better. You start to uh, see life in a different perspective, right? When a guy is watching porn, he doesn't see the same perspective that a guy who's not watching porn sees. I'm telling you this right now. Even when it comes down to his interactions with women, his interactions with people in general, his perspective is completely different when it comes to the, to life, everything. He has a different perspective compared to a guy who's disciplining himself day in and day out for the uh, day in and day out for the Lord, for God. Right, it's it's just so different, man. It's not the same, bro. It's really not, man. You know, a lot of people won't understand you. A lot of people won't get what type of energy you got, but they just like it. Right? They like it or they dislike it. People are either gonna like you or dislike you for your energy, for who you are. And it's just the truth. Um, I've been there. You know, I know how it feels, bro. I know how it feels, guys. When when somebody is either liking you or disliking you for your energy. I've been there, bro. <laughs> I've been there, bro. You know? This video is just a calm video. I mean, I'm just spitting facts. You guys. I'm just, you know, I'm just I'm just chilling, bro. Before, 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 before I head off to go start my business, doing business work, right? I'm just chilling with you guys. 
you know, giving you guys this real knowledge, man. You know, I'm just like you, bro. You know, I just, I just, I just make content. <laughs> I just make content, bro. I try to keep my videos as real as possible because people be thinking I'm faking it. People be thinking that I'm just doing this for viewers or clout. Man, I don't care about none of that, bro. <laughs> I don't care about that. I want to, I want, I want to go ahead and, and give you guys the word, the truth. All right, what God has put in my heart to tell you. That's why I'm here to help you make it into the kingdom of God, right? To help you. Obviously, there's things in my life I can work on. Obviously, I'm not perfect. But for the most part, I've been able to achieve things that most people can say they have never achieved. You know, this is one of the hardest things in, in, in this world to, to, to be able to refrain from. Sex, uh, you know, porn. It's hard to refrain from it because we've been programmed. We've been programmed to, to chase women. We've been programmed to want, you know, to just be horny all the time. We've been programmed to want to watch the sights. We, this is all something we've been taught, okay? So it's going to be hard, you know, getting out of it, breaking out. But this is why we have God. This is why we have Jesus. This is why we have the Lord, all right? This is why we have him. I, I'm telling you, this is why we have him. Because if you if you think about it, all the people who be like, oh, there's no God or whatever, right? I just look at them like, okay, cool. And I try to give them the word, but you know, they they, they they don't they don't get it. I'm like, if there was no God, right, how do you think certain things in your life goes the way it goes? It don't even make sense, right? A lot of people who say that I just don't I don't understand their thought process. <laughs> but hey, to each his own. Everybody can do what they want. At the end of the day, God gives us free will. Right, you know, you can choose whatever, but I'm gonna choose to stay with God. I'm gonna choose to stay with His will. I'm gonna choose to serve Him. I don't care how much hate I get. I don't care how much struggles I go through. Right, because if I if I stay on this path, I know in the end it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna pay off, bro. All this, all that's that's the biggest thing for me. I know it's gonna pay off. Right? I know. I just know in my in deep down, I know what I'm doing now. I look back at it five, ten years from now, man. I'm just, I, I'm just so excited, bro, for the future. I'm like very excited for what's to come. I can just feel greatness. I can just feel it, but I don't see it, of course, right? I can just, I, I, I can sense it, you know. You know, guys, don't don't just think I'm on a rant. No, 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 no. Listen to what I'm actually saying, bro. You're gonna understand, okay? I don't even know what I'm gonna title these videos, bro. <laughs> I don't even know. All I know is that guys stay on this path, bro. Please, okay, please, man. I, you, it's gonna get harder, right? The longer you go, but just know that, bro. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright, guys. It's gonna be, it's going to be alright. Everything, every little thing, is gonna be alright. Don't worry, yeah, about a thing. <laughs> man, I love you guys, man. I'm about to end the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, what I talked about, man. Whatever. Okay. I love you guys. All right? I love you guys, man. Expect more content. And I'm gone. <laughs>